Hello everyone, this is Adam from the Rumble Pack. Today we're going to do something a little different. The newest Humble Bundle has some great games in it, and we decided that it would be a great service to all of you if I were to play them and review them. So to that end, Guacamelee. Guacamelee is the story of a simple agave farmer named Juan who through a series of nefarious schemes is thrown into the role of our hero. When El Presidente's daughter is kidnapped to be used in a sinister ritual, Juan dons a magical luchador mask, giving him the powers of all the great high-flying Mexican wrestlers. He then goes off to save El Presidente's daughter with suplexes, headbutts, and belly slams oh my. If this story sounds a little ridiculous to you, that's because it is. It's a story that is right at home in the sort of early to mid 90s Saturday morning cartoon, and this is one of Guacamelee's great strengths. From the graphical style to the sounds of combat, to the music itself when you play Guacamelee, you feel like you are playing a cartoon. The light-hearted cartoon skeletons die with comical clanking of bones, and the constant mariachi music driven by guitarons and trumpets gives you the feeling of playing the hero throughout. The story itself reinforces this cartoon feeling. Every time the goalposts are moved and you just miss saving El Presidente's daughter, the only thing missing is an announcer giving you a preview of next week's episode. There is no voice acting, but the writing of the dialogue is smart and knows exactly what it wants to be and executes it beautifully. There are no all is lost moments, only moments of sharp witty humor that elicited more than a few belly laughs from me. A final note on the humor, the game is packed with references, satirizing and parodying both other games and internet culture. I don't want to give a joke away, but the way you gain upgrades could not be more fitting. The game itself plays like a metroidvania, asking you to backtrack for upgrades as you gain new abilities. One of the best aspects of the game is your ability to traverse doesn't come from items, but from wrestling moves. Giant rocking your way? Headbutt son? Statue getting you down? Well that's why we have uppercuts. Not only does this add to the humor of the game, but it simplifies what passes for an upgrade system. While it lacks choice, it gives you clear directives on how much further you can progress and almost begs you to go back to improve your character. Not all is well in Metroidvania land, however. Guacamelee has some platforming sections that I found incredibly frustrating, though it never got to the point where I felt the desire to rage quit because of it. It integrates world switching mechanics from countless games and combines it with platforms and combat in the obvious ways, but gets big points because the switching between worlds is seamless. I personally cannot speak to the keyboard controls for the game as I used a controller the entire time I played, but the controls are responsive and I never felt like I had to fight them to progress. I will however note, the game recommends that you use a controller, so as always, even if the keyboard controls are poor, I personally will not fault a game if they recommend using the controller. The user interface communicates all of your necessary information, the map clearly tells you where you need to go, and the different traversal methods are clearly marked. Overall, the systems and mechanics interplay well in the, with the actual act of playing the game, and the result is a fun, if sometimes frustrating, experience. Guacamelee has some added replay value from the addition of a hard mode as well as local co-op. On top of that, the game itself is just a blast to actually play, even when it gets frustrating. To further spice up the local co-op, Drinkbox has added Steam Workshop support so you can skin your wrestler to your heart's content. So, as always, we are boiled down to the most basic question, who is this game for? Well, in a sentence, this game is a metroidvania that has a serious love affair with humor and pretty difficult platforming. Normally I would say platforming is part of a metroidvania, however the platforming in this game is a step beyond that, while still not reaching the difficulty level of something like, say, Mario's Lost Levels. So, in the end, if you like the metroidvania style of play, can deal with some at times pretty challenging platforming, and like the clever writing of games like Gunpoint Portal or The Stanley Parable, Guacamelee should definitely be on your list of games to check out. So that's what I thought of Guacamelee. Uh, as always, like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment if you think I was right or wrong, and you can follow us on Twitter at RumblePackLP, and you can also like us on Facebook at RumblePackLP. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.